Hello and welcome to another one of our Photoshop tutorials. Today we're going to be going over how to create this intertwining fiber optics effect. If you're new to our channel, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, please like and share it. Let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is open up the image that you'd like to work with today. If you would like to use this image, there'll be a link in the description for download. I'm gonna double click on my background layer to unlock it. I'll select OK. I'm gonna right click on my background layer and convert it to a smart object. We're gonna be applying a load of filters and we want them to apply as smart filters. This way we can revert back or edit them if needed. So the first filter that I'll add is um, a mesotint. So you go into filter, pixelate, and select mesotint. Make sure that your type is set to medium strokes. You'll click OK. The next filter we will be adding is a blur. So I'll go into filter, blur, and we're going to select radio blur. We're going to make sure that our amount is set to 100. Our blur method should be set to zoom and the quality should be set to good. We'll click OK here. And um, we're going to want to repeat this step two more times. So I'll press Control, Alt, and F on my keyboard to bring up my last used filter. I'll select OK. And we're going to do that one more time. Control, Alt, and F. And select OK. The next filter that we're going to apply is our twirl. So we'll go into filter, distort, and select twirl. And you want to put this to 100. Set your angle to 100. We'll select OK. So the next thing we'll do is um, double click the little icon that's by your twirl smart filter to bring up the options. And we're going to change this blend mode to lighten. So I'll select my mode here. Click the little drop down menu and select lighten. And as you can see, the um, we're starting to get the intertwining fiber effect here. Next, I'm going to go into filter one more time, distort, twirl again, but we're going to set our angle to negative 100. I'll select OK. Double click the little icon that's by your new twirl smart filter to bring up the options one more time. I'm going to change that to lighten. change my um, blend mode to lighten select OK so on both twirl smart filters we have the blend mode set to lighten you'll start to see that you get this effect here so now we just need to really make it pop so to make it pop we're gonna add some adjustment layers to it so uh, the first adjustment layer we'll select is our levels so you click the little icon that's at the bottom of the layers panel to bring up your adjustment layers We'll select levels and we're going to bring in our shadows and we're also going to bring in our highlights. So the settings that I have, my shadows are 15, my midtones are 1, and my highlights are set to 236. We'll X out of here and next we're going to add a color balance adjustment layer. So again, I'll select the little icon that's on the bottom of my layers panel to bring up my adjustment layer options and we're going to select color balance for my midtones i have 20 to add some red 17 negative 17 to add some magenta and we're also going to add some blue so i have that set to 10. i'll click the little drop down menu and select my highlights for my highlights i have 20 to add some red in there and I have negative 8 to add some magenta and I have 10 to add some blue into our highlights I'll click the little drop down menu one more time and select my shadows for my shadows I have 14 to add some red into my shadows and negative 16 to add a little bit of magenta and we're gonna also add some blue in our shadows so I have that set to 10 I'll X out of here 
and as you can see the effect is really taking place is much more vibrant but we just need to make it really pop and add some more depth to the image so to do that I'm gonna press filter at the top and we're gonna go into sharpen and smart sharpen but before we do that we want to make sure that we have our background layer selected so you want to highlight and select your background layer so this way we can add our smart filter onto this layer so I'll go into filter again and select sharpen and choose smart sharpen your amount should be set to about 150 percent I have my radius set to 1.5 and my reduced noise is set to 18%. I'll select OK to apply that Smart Sharpen filter. And this is when you'll start to see the image really pop. As you can see, it's already taking place. So we'll zoom in so you guys can see the definition in the um, intertwining fibers. I'm going to come over here. And... Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my um, top layer and I'm going to press Control Shift Alt and the letter E on my keyboard to merge all layers. So I have a merged copy at the very top and I'm going to use my um, burn tool to help add some depth. I'm going to really darken up the shadows here and that'll help create some depth. So I'll select my burn tool and my range is on shadows and my exposure is set to 22%. I am on my newly merged layer here and I'll just begin to click and drag wherever you see shadows. So this will help make the image really pop here. You don't want to burn too much but um, wherever you see dark areas you just want to kind of add to that. So I'm just clicking lightly and what might be in here too as well and there you go guys you have completed the uh, intertwining fiber optics effect if you're new to our channel please be sure to click on the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video please like and share it we're always looking for new ideas and new content to upload for you guys so if you can please leave us a comment in the comment section below and we'll see you guys next time Thank you.